Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Team Trafty. I hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful shabby chic idea of wall clock. So I'm started with this MDF clock base. So always measure your clock base with your clock machine first. So this beautiful clock base and this decoupage paper I'm going to use in this video. Every item that I'm going to use in this video, I'm going to put the link in the description box so that you can guys check and buy it. So I have a lot of options from decoupage paper, but I'm ended up with this clock design. This particular two sheets of paper are from Itsubitsi. All right, so next things that I have to do that is beautiful shape with air dry clay. I have previously made this so that it doesn't look that much crazy. It is almost dried but not properly 100% cure. To make beautiful designs, I use silicon mold. I'll put the link of the description box as well. That is how we have remold every design. And it is almost dry but not 100% dry so we can reshape it according to our choice next I'm going to prepare my base with this molding clay and also this paste with the stencils don't worry about the product you can get every product link in the description box you just have to put the description box link and you are good to go so designs are all already made. It will take one or two hours to completely try. Then we decide where I have to place the designs, which I have already made with the air dry clay. So. So after a lot of trial and error, I have ended up with this design. So in the center part, I'm going to apply this decoupage paper and this beautiful shape I'm going to place all the surface. This beautiful shapes are made up with Febicol air dry clay and I'm going to stick it with my regular glue. You can also use silicone glue if you have. So this rearrangement is very much important. It is basically a self-satisfaction that is not up to me, it is completely up to you. However you like to place your designs or whatever designs that you have, it is not necessary that you have to have this particular design or mold. You can choose anything that you would like. Once your uh, design is completely sticked, you have to wait for another one hour to completely dry and stick properly. Then I'm going to start with this beautiful clock designed decoupage paper. But one thing that I have done a mistake over here, you can also, you know, coat a white color background and then you can apply this decoupage paper so that the true color of your decoupage paper is always popped up as i am going to use uh, you know this chic color of things or some muddy color so it doesn't look that much bad on the end result but it is always a good idea to put a background on a white color and then put your you know decoupage paper okay using my regular decoupage technique with my deco magic decoupage glue and then place it the decoupage paper and always seal it with an another coat of glue you have to keep it for another 30 to 40 minutes to completely dry then we are going to start our coloring part
So for coloring part, I'm going to choose this chalk paint. Chalk paint is one of the best things that I have ever used because it helps your base to be mattified every time. So first, I'm going to apply a you know this off-white kind of a color, full background without this decoupage paper, and then I'm going to match the color of the decoupage paper with the background color. Just go to the faucet. And it is as simple as that. This chocolatey matte color, oh my god, this is the best ever chalk paint color I have ever used from Itsubitsi. It gives your base a perfect finish. Trust me, the Itsubitsi chalk paint is the best in market till the date. So always use my coupon code TAMALIFIED to get extra 5% off from Itsubitsi any kind of a product. What I feel and what I experience from the chalk paint use that the chalk paints when it completely dries it becomes one shade lighter okay so it might be chances to you know have some place where you do not put the colors so always check again and again the color should be proper okay no gap should be there and you may have applied reapplied to one or two more coats depending upon what color you are using so here I have you know finding some gaps over Segin coats so I'm filling up right now and then I will keep that aside and uh, let it dry for a couple of minutes basically a couple of minutes because uh, chalk paint doesn't need a lot of time to dry it is self drying process so you can see the difference right the the shade I'm applying over Segin coat and once it is dried, I'm going to highlight some of the parts with pink color and mix it up with an off-white color. So all the color that I'm going to use here, it's all the chalk paint, okay? No acrylic color because acrylic color doesn't give you the matte finish, while the chalk paint is completely matte. So I'm here using uh, the dry brush technique to highlight this element. Dry brush technique is something that when you are applying the color the amount should be very very less and your brush should definitely very dry preferably i'm using the flat brush and i'm just applying the very fine stroke to highlight all the element which i have made with the air dry clay Now another one more technique I'm using over here with an oil paint. You guys have already seen my one of my previous video to make a vintage, you know, this vintage kind of a things. I love, love this artwork. Trust me guys, it is life changing artwork. So the technique is you have to use oil color, okay, oil paint on your elements and quickly you have to rub and remove excess amount of paint with a cloth or you can use any napkin. So that is how I have filled out all the gaps and also I'm wiping out the excess amount. And then the last, I'm going to apply, reapply the dry brush technique with a lighter color to highlight. You can also apply a good coat of varnish matte varnish to your element first and then apply the oil color that will helps to remove the excess amount of the oil paint very easily otherwise a lot of amount of oil paint will be absorbed by the elements
am also highlighting the base design which I have made with the stencils and also the all the element that I have added to my clock. It will give you a very good vintage look. You can experiment with a lot of type of color. And that is how we can make a beautiful real clock for our own home. I hope you like this tutorial and it helps you to become a artist who can make this mixed media art. So if you like this kind of video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon so that whenever I am posting any video, you will get the notification first. And also don't forget to share your thoughts on your comments. The whole paint in a similar color. So what I'm doing now, I'm just adding some little amount of blue and pink color just to add the pop-ups. It will help to make your base more looking elegant. And in the last step, don't forget to apply a good amount of matte varnish just to protect your project so that you can wipe it off and remove the dust. I'm adding the hand clocks and the machine and it is good to go on my wall. So first I'm going to add this clock hands with the gold color then I realize it should be black okay then I remove it and I paint it black simple. Thank you for watching till the end and all the material list is almost written in the description box see you on my next video till then goodbye